So how do you know, how do you know that this calling to become a spiritual life coach is real? My name is Crystalyn Bell and I am a master spiritual life coach and worthiness advocate for women. And I want to talk to you today about that feeling you have in your soul that you want to be a life coach. Like, what makes you think you can be a life coach? <laughs> well, I want to talk about that because it's important. Number one, you know that you can, that this calling is real because you feel it in your soul. You feel it in your, in your being. You can feel it in your body. Like when you think about it, you get excited. When you imagine yourself doing it, you get excited. Your heart starts racing. Somebody talks about it. You're like all in. You're following coaches. You're, you're, you're feeling the joy and the opportunity that's present when you think about becoming a coach. That's number one, one way that you know that this is real for you and not just a flight of fancy. The, on the other hand, we get a lot of things that make us excited, right? We get excited about a lot of stuff. Here's the next way that you'll know that this is real for you. If this feeling has been with you for a long time, it is enduring, that's another sign that it is real for you, that, it is, um, that it's been hanging out and you're still excited about it. Like, and if you take it even further and you start researching about it and you find yourself like kind of studying and uh, following the research and pursuing it, that's another sign. So yet another sign is when you start reading on it and you start watching videos and you are like, wait, how do I do this? And how do I do that? And you find yourself actually kind of making it happen on some level. You're doing things about it. You're taking action on it. Um, particularly if you're taking action on it on a regular basis. Very, very important. This is showing you that this is real for you. And yet another way that you know that this is real for you is that when someone um, tries to talk you out of it, you're not having it. Like you either shut that shit down right away. You're like, no, I, I don't want to even, I'm not even going to entertain that. Or you let them, because you're polite, you let them have their say. And then you're, you're like, oh yeah, I totally hear you. Yeah. And then you're like, not. And you go on dreaming your dream and pursuing. Not only does that show you that you are totally into this dream, but it also shows you that you're a badass and you are going to defend your dream. You're going to defend your desire. You're going to defend your purpose till the end. And I want to encourage you to defend your purpose until the end. I want to encourage you to um, really pursue this desire with a passion and I want to I want to encourage you to take action on this desire on a regular basis daily at consistent action toward making yourself a great coach and making your dream to have your divine coaching business real now what can that look like like how do you take daily action on becoming a uh, a spiritual life coach well that could be um meditating on a regular basis and journaling. And I strongly encourage you to write down your feelings about coaching and the, the ways that you want to help people. Um, write down your vision, put it on paper, uh, sketch it out, dream every day on paper. This is so powerful. Number one, it helps you bring out your desire and it makes it real by putting it on paper. You're bringing it into another dimension and that is very, very important in this process. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. It's Crystal and Bell here. And I want to invite you to come and talk more about this with me in my League of Badass Butterflies. This is my free Facebook um, community and I go live in that group twice a week and we talk about the process of building your coaching business and owning your spirituality and owning 
um, you know, the experience that you've had, your hard earned wisdom, and how to really step into your power as a spiritual life coach and as a woman. Um, so come and join me, please. I look forward to um, learning about you and your desire and sharing my knowledge and my wisdom with you. All right, I'll go ahead and sign off now. Bye, y'all.